Let's Asia 2023. Wow, what a wonderful opening that sparked collaboration and adoption of technologies for transformation. Hi everyone, welcome to Singapore for day one at Index Asia 2023. In this first video, we're focusing on the MRCV program of the Republic of Singapore Navy. MRCV stands for Multi-Role Combat Vessel. It is a program which calls for the production of six vessels. Those will be pretty large ships acting as mother ship, except there will also be surface combatants. So this is a conceptual artist rendering on the booth of ST Engineering. As you can see, pretty big ship uh, featuring an integrated mast, modular mission area for containers, launch and recovery systems, uh, a midship as well as at the stern. According to my information, this will displace about uh, 10,000 tons. Uh, so they're supposed to replace Corvette, but uh, there will be very, uh, very big ships and uh, pretty advanced. The DST of Singapore awarded Saab last month a contract regarding the MRCV. Let's find out more with them. So what's the role of Saab in the MRCV program? Yeah, the role of Saab in the MRCV program is actually a continuation of the cooperation we have had for a long time with DSTA. We, we uh, designed the LMV uh, Corvette for the Singapore Navy. And now in March, we signed an MOU between Saab and DSTA for a number of uh, technology areas. And part of that will also be the cooperation for the MRCV, where we will co-design and, and develop the, the next generation combat vessel together with the DSTA. We are now with ST Engineering, the local Singaporean company, to learn more about their role with uh, the MRCV program. So ST Engineering is doing the detailed design and also the system integration for the MRCV. We will be looking at the details, installation of the systems on board, as well as how the system work together to, to make it a fighting ship. Yeah. So SAP is providing the basic design. That means the layout, okay, the performance, the general performance. Uh, once that is done, we take over. We get into the details of putting the system in place while still meeting the, the uh, performance and the configuration as determined in the basic design. Yeah. When do you think you will complete that uh, detailed design phase? Um, the detailed design will start, all right, and we expect to have the first ship delivered around 2028. So the main idea behind RMRCV is that it's a model ship for unmanned uh, platforms. Uh, so here you're showcasing your Vanguard uh, 130. Uh, you're also showcasing the Venus uh, USV. So uh, be lost. Yeah. yeah so UAVs as well. So yeah. Because ST Engineering does a lot. So the MRCB is designed as a mothership that can control and command unmanned assets. Uh, because we've got assets that is on the water, in the air, and under the water. So that extends the operational flexibility of the MRCB in the area of operation. All right. And all this uh, could possibly go into the MRCB. You know, but that is not determined yet. Yeah. And just to be clear, like for our audience, uh, so this model is not MRCV, this is Vanguard 130, this is uh, a design of mothership, but it will not be, the MRCV will not be this. Right. It is not the actual design of MRCV. Um, the how form is different. Vanguard 130 is uh, an ST engineering design, but the concept behind it, uh, it is very similar to what is happening on the MRCV. And the Republic of Singapore Navy shared with us a video of uh, the MRCV. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look. It shows an artist impression of the future MRCV vessel flying the Republic of Singapore flag. Uh, as you can see, fairly large vessel featuring an integrated mast. Forward, there are dedicated areas for surface to air missiles uh, that I believe will be provided by MBDA. I'll get back to this later. 
The main gun looks like a 76 mm system by Leonardo in the Stralis configuration, meaning it can uh, fire specific ammunition to counter incoming missiles and aircraft. Amidship, there's a fairly large uh, multi-mission bay, probably where uh, mission containers uh, could be placed, as well as probably anti-ship missiles. On the side of the ship uh, is a large uh, David to launch and recover vessels. On the helicopter deck, you can see an elevator uh, lifting a vertical takeoff and landing UAV. The helicopter deck is fairly large, so of course it can accommodate helicopter as well. Actually, in the hangar here, you can see there's a medium-sized helicopter inside, uh, probably the Caracal by Airbus helicopter. And at the stern, there are two ramps uh, to launch and recover the large USV unmanned surface vessel that uh, will be uh, accommodated by the MRCV. They are likely to be the Venus USV by ST Engineering. And on the side, again, another area for uh, modular mission payloads. The vessel is said to be about 10,000 tons in class. And again, it's supposed to replace uh, much smaller corvettes. To learn more about one of the sensor systems on board the MRCV vessel, I am now with uh, Nicolas Bouvereau, Vice President Asia at uh, Thales. Nicolas, good afternoon. Xavier, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. So regarding the MRCV program here in uh, Singapore, uh, what will be the role of uh, Thales? So I'm very happy to share that we've been selected for the multifunction radar for the MRCV program. Um, this is something that uh, we're uh, very proud and very delighted of. Actually, our cooperation with the Singapore Navy started a long time ago, and we were actually already the supplier of the multifunction radar for the formidable frigates quite a while ago. So with that heritage, um, that was one of the reasons why we've been selected again this time by the STA. Since uh, you are set to deliver uh, many uh, radar systems uh, to your customer, uh, you're about to set up a maintenance hub here in the country? This is right. So we have quite a, a large install base uh, for radars, not only naval radars, but radars in general. And therefore, we've announced just last month that we will be establishing uh, what we call a defense hub, which is going to be a, a service facility uh, focusing on maintenance and support as well as engineering but also doing research and development uh, topics this will potentially grow up to 40 to 50 people here in the next five years in singapore according to my information the vessel will be fitted with uh, long range and short range missiles so the astor family for the long range VL Mika for the short range. Uh, this only makes sense because, uh, as you probably know, the formidable class uh, frigate, which are currently in service with the RSN, are fitted with Astor family missiles. The LMV, littoral mission vessels, are fitted with the VL Mika. Uh, but the configuration of Astor and VL Mika will be a first. MBD is showcasing for the first time the two systems uh, together. And incidentally, uh, in the region, uh, the Indonesian Navy last week performed its first ever VL Mika launch from the PKR frigate. Uh, they shared a video of the launch. Uh, it was a milestone for them because it was the first time that the Indonesian Navy fired a surface to air missile from a vertical launching system. Last but not least, ST Engineering is also showcasing its new Blue Spare anti ship missile. This is in production. Uh, the company already had a contract uh, announced in uh, 2021 for Estonia for uh, coastal batteries, so truck launched uh, missiles. It's not confirmed yet, there's not a contract yet, but uh, we can expect uh, the Blue Spare uh, to be on board the MRCV as the next generation anti ship missile for the Republic of Singapore Navy. It's a long range missile, 290 kilometers in range. Uh, sea skimming missile and it's fitted with uh, an advanced seeker that resists uh, jamming and spoofing and uh, countermeasures. For the development and production of the Blue Spare, ST Engineering uh, created a joint company and a cooperation with uh, IAI of Israel.